This is an update video to the SNA project. I have now configured the SNA to do sweeps of amplifiers. Believe it or not, it was just a simple change. I just had to change a define in the code to allow it to plot a higher uh, DVM value. So I've got the, the SNA right now. It's configured to sweep uh, an amplifier that's on my LBS uh, project here. It's going to sweep this crystal filter amp here. And all I've done is I've got the generator of the SNA going through to a 15 dB um, attenuator here. And that's going into the input of the amplifier. And the output of the amplifier is going into the the analyzer, the RF input of the the SNA, and I'm going to go ahead and execute this. And I've got it right now set to do a filter sweep, a very narrow uh, frequency range. Going to go ahead do the sweep, and it comes back and it shows me the response of the uh, crystal filter amplifier. So now, if I was to cursor over, I'd see my gain is I'm getting about 9 it's showing a, about 9 dBm here 9 dB sorry and with a 15 uh, dB attenuator that means I'm getting around 24 uh, dB of gain I did a prior sweep where I did the th uh, 3 dB sweep and I'm just going to pull that up from the files menu and uh, cursor over to it And if I ex execute that, that'll come back and it'll give me my 3 dB points. And there's the 3 dB frequencies that are displayed. And you can see the bandwidth of that crystal filter amplifier is around 1500 hertz, which is uh, what we would expect. So I've got the SNE now connected to another amplifier here, which is the bilateral. Uh, amplifier, so I've got it con configured the same way with a 15 dB attenuator in line and I'm going to go ahead and run the sweep and we'll see the performance of that amp. So I've got it uh, defined here, I'm going to do a very wide uh, sweep, I'm going to go from approximately 1 megahertz all the way to 32 megahertz and let's go ahead and run that and so that's the performance of the amp so at uh, approximately 2 megahertz we're seeing about 15 uh, dB of gain and we've got a 15 dB attenuator so we're seeing close to uh, 30 dB of gain around 2 megahertz and if we go out to about uh, 30 megahertz, 32 megahertz we're seeing minus 2 uh, dB of loss, so we're seeing approximately 13 dB of gain with that uh, 15 dB attenuator. And if we go out to about uh, 7 megahertz, which is what the amplifier was designed to run at, uh, we're seeing about 8 dB gain, which with the 15 dB attenuator, we're seeing a, almost a 23 dB of gain. The SNA is now connected to a a replacement amplifier I designed for the LBS and it's a bi-directional amplifier using two Amar 6SM's uh, Mimic uh, amp amplifiers and uh, I'm going to run a, a test where the signal is, is going from left to right across this uh, amplifier and I'm going to use the same frequency range that I just did for the previous uh, amplifier Let's go ahead and run that. And we're seeing a pretty pretty flat response right across uh, the amplifier. At uh, around 2 megahertz we're seeing about 3 dB of gain with the 15 dB attenuator. That's uh, around 18 dB of gain. And if I was to go over to around you know 30 megahertz, I'm seeing almost the same thing 
close to four. It's gone up about maybe a, a dB. So I'm seeing about uh, maybe 18 or 19, close to 19 dB of gain. So I'm going to replicate the results uh, from the SNA using my Signalent uh, spectrum analyzer here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is set the frequency span to be the same as the SNA, which is uh, from 1 megahertz to 30 megahertz. I adjust my bandwidth uh, to be about 30 kilohertz per sweep. Then I'm going to turn on my tracking generator and I'm going to set my tracking generator level to 0 dBm. Can't really see that but the tracking generator output is going to be 0 dBm. So and what I've got is I've got my cables connected the exact same way with a 15 dB attenuator connected between the tracking generator port and the RF in port and I'm going to normalize the trace normalize the trace to that and uh, I'm going to move this down so it's we'll, see where the trace is. So basically what the normalization trace does, it takes the um, the display, the uh, response of what it sees right now and it uses that as a zero baseline. So it's the same as uh, doing a uh, calibration sweep in the SNA. So I've got the spectrum analyzer connected to the first uh, bilateral bidirectional amp and let's take a look at that sweep. So we're seeing a very similar sweep to what we saw on the um, uh, SNA. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some markers. So basically hit the marker, enter the frequency. So let's do a 1 megahertz marker. Change to marker 2. And I'm going to set this to 7 megahertz. And then I'm going to set a third marker and I'm going to set that to 28 megahertz and I'm going to turn on the marker table so we've got the three values there and you could see at uh, 1 megahertz we're seeing 27 dB of gain at 7 megahertz we're seeing 24 dB of gain and at uh, 28 megahertz we're seeing uh, 13 dB again, which is uh, very close to what uh, the SNA saw. The spectrum analyzer is now connected to the uh, Mimic uh, bi-directional amp that I created and let's see what the performance of that is. And there you can see the the trace. It is uh, it's pretty much flat and there's the figures there for my markers. At 1 megahertz it's 14 uh, dB, at 7 it's 15 and at 28 it is, having problems seeing that, it's 18 dB. Now the SNA uh, had values which are fairly close to that, uh, off by about uh, 2 or 3 dB, but you, but you see we're getting, uh, we got some pretty good uh, results from uh, the SNA. To sweep the uh, bi-directional crystal filter amp with the spectrum analyzer I'll have to change the resolution of the spectrum analyzer because it's uh, the crystal uh, resonant frequencies are around 4.9 megahertz so it's pointless doing a 1 to uh, 30 megahertz sweep so I'm going to narrow the uh, sweep down and once I do that I uh, reduce the the start and stop frequency to capture the peak of the uh, passband of the crystal filter uh, the tracking generator is no longer calibrated so I need to go and calibrate, recalibrate the tracking generator so what I'll do is I'll turn everything off turn the tracking generator back on and uh, turn the normalization on and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually let me go back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the tracking generator output here I'm going to make it to be about minus 15 
uh, DBM uh, output. So I'm going to go ahead and normalize, renormalize that now. So the tracking generator is putting out minus 15 dBm. I have got a 15 dB attenuator and I've got both the tracking generator port and the RF port directly connected. So I've got the spectrum analyzer calibrated. I'm now going to go ahead and connect the crystal filter amp. So here's the response of the crystal filter uh, bi-directional amplifier and if I was to turn on my marker table with the markers I had set before you'll see that the frequencies they're all messed up because I changed the resolution so for this I'm going to turn the marker table off and I'm going to use the peak uh, function over here so once you hit the peak function it automatically identifies a peak for you so there it's put the marker 3 on, on the peak and it's telling me what the dBm here a dB so I'm seeing roughly about 24 dB of gain which is what the SNA predicted so if I was to go and turn the uh, peak table on it'll come back and there you see it's identifying uh, peak number one actually so I guess there it's got uh, it's got peak one two and three all on top of the same spot so it's telling me peak one is uh, 24 dB uh, dBm so I'm seeing roughly about, and they tell, tell me the gain, the marker of the gain, it's 24 dB. So we're seeing because the tracking generator has normalized uh, the output to be 0 dBm, uh, so the reading we're seeing here, which is dBm, is actually the dB, because uh, 0 minus 24 is 24 dB. Um, so we're seeing about 24 dB of gain, which is what the spectrum analyzer uh, uh, measured. So this concludes my video of the demonstration of uh, the PARC SNA, the capabilities of it to sweep amplifiers and comparing the results with my Siglent uh, spectrum analyzer. Thanks for watching.